hiking with MJ day three. So um, we are um, at the meadow. So I had to um, pay my taxes and I, so I decided to take the dogs out. First day back over after the long weekend and um, still managing to get the dogs out in the morning in the afternoon at my lunch and yeah I'm just looking forward to this continuing working remotely I don't know if it will because you know my boss is pretty old school so um, I know he's going to want us to all be back in the office when we're able so I don't know when that will be um, and you know I thought about how nice it would be to be retired but then I suppose I don't know I wouldn't all, most of my stuff is paid for but you know if I wanted to continue doing agility and um, dog sports and traveling then I probably need to continue working until I'm eligible for, you know, social security and stuff. Um, so here's a little pond. This is kind of like the overflow from the creek. And right now the creek is running pretty high and fast. So the overflow is um, pretty full. The creek's like over there. I don't know if you can see that. So we started out at the bottom today. We normally start out at the top and walk down the hill, but um, I, don't know, I didn't have as much time, so I thought I would just come down this way. I walked um, the yellow. I walked all the way around the yellow. Normally I come down the forested slope and then walk all the way around, but this time I walked um, from the bottom. See, so like sticks. Lots of herbal medicine grows in this meadow, and painted turtles live in there. I saw quite a few of them this summer. This is um, part of the overflow right here that feeds into that pond. So I guess when the creek is running really high, then it can just kind of overflow into here. And then there's that pond area dug out, but. It's a little blackish over here. Stands like that. 
Don't fall in, I'm not going in after you. Well, I would, but I don't want to, because I'm sure that that water is cold.